What's the newest, the tallest, the bluest, the most expensive resort on the Strip this year? It's the Fountain Blue, from Miami Beach to Vegas, and it only took decades to get here. The casino, the bow ties, the room, and that amazing view. Plus, the place has three dozen food and drink venues that Las Vegas has never seen before. So get ready, because this adventure starts right now. lot of money has been dropped in recent years to transform the northern end of the Las Vegas Strip. In fact, the two most expensive resorts in town are right here. To our left, Resorts World, topping out at $4.3 billion. And up ahead, the fabled Fountain Blue. This blue beacon is the tallest occupied building in Nevada at 737 feet. And after all the fits and starts, it finally opened with a published cost of $3.7 billion. We will be entering via Elvis Presley Boulevard looking for self-parking. Rather than garage footage, let's just pretend we got dropped off under the porte cochere, shall we? That way, we can admire the classic car. The sweeping lines above our heads. And the lovely fountain. Welcome to a first look at the Fountain Blue Las Vegas and its 20,000 square foot lobby. The gal with the camera was drawn like a magnet to the centerpiece of the room, statement faces filled with classic red roses and enhanced with orchids. It's a surprising and brilliant combination. The lobby floor is marble. The color scheme is elegant navy and gold. And the front desks sweep in an arc with no waiting. On the opposite side is the concierge. Lots more matching marble in the entry area to the guest elevators and they do scan your key card before you're allowed in here. All right, my friends, let's head up to the 20th floor. Welcome to the Fountain Blue. We're on the 20th floor. Let's go take a look at our room. The Fountain Blue has 3,644 rooms and suites on 67 floors. This is the Gold King Strip Great View Room at a grand opening price of $235 a night, plus fees and taxes. The bed is fitted with a custom Serta pillow top mattress created specifically for Fountain Blue Las Vegas and 500 thread count cotton bedding. This table proved to be useful for loading footage. The golden art touches work well with the color palette. And there's even a little seating area. Opposite the bed is a credenza with a nice new 55 inch LG TV. There's a stocked fridge, classy barware, and curated snacks. In the closet, we find a bathrobe and slippers a safe, and a clothes steamer. Talking tech, electronically controlled lights, drapes, and lots of charging options. 
Now here's a fun fact. When construction resumed in 2021, we'll have more on that later, the resort's owners gutted 1,800 finished hotel rooms and redesigned them. They were already outdated without anyone ever checking in. Let's check out the bath. The bathrooms in the gold rooms are tiled with marble and feature a simple clean white color scheme. The shower stall is huge and partially enclosed in glass. It's equipped with two shower heads and a convenient bench. The other bathrobe can be found in here. And there's a separate room for the toilet. The vanity features a lighted mirror, two sinks with a marble top, and plenty of snow white towels. Press that button to open the drapes and shears. And what have we got out the window? To our right, the impressive fountain blue marquee and Circus Circus. Moving left, oh my gosh, look at this, absolutely gorgeous, the strip and the sphere. When they promised us a strip view, they absolutely delivered. Let's take a closer look at that pool deck. It occupies six acres and will include seven pool experiences. The pool's grand opening is planned for spring of 2024. All right, back downstairs we go. We got a lot to see. This is the front door, so to speak, access from Las Vegas Boulevard. Underneath a stunning chandelier made of crystal bow ties are more of those red roses in all directions, it seems. And over here, a very understated homage to the holiday season. There are more of those crystal chandeliers to rival even the Bellagio. And similar to Aria and the Cosmopolitan, some statement art pieces as well. Paula is always one to notice the gardens, and this little tropical oasis is near the front doors. In this case, the orchids are paired with poinsettias and some golden dice. So what's with all the bow ties? It just so happens that the bow tie is a beloved fountain blue logo, a reference to the original Miami Hotel's architect who always wore one. And I'll tell you what, I have worn a few in my day as well. While we take a walk through the resort's 150,000 square foot casino, let us give you a little bit of background on the Fountain Blue Las Vegas. Early reviews tell us that even though the casino is huge, it's easy to navigate and you won't get lost. Always a plus. Way back in 1948, the first hotel on this site was the Thunderbird with a unique Navajo theme. It was later renamed to the Silverbird and then the second El Rancho Vegas on the Strip. It was demolished in 2000. Enter Florida real estate developer Jeffrey Sofer in 2005. Together with former Mandalay Bay Resort Group President Glenn Schaefer, the two formed Fountain Blue Resorts, bought the glamorous Miami Beach Hotel built in 1954, and decided to build another one right here in Las Vegas on 24 and a half acres. Skip past the recessions, cut funding, bankruptcies, 
pandemics, and other owners. By 2021, the Fountain Blue brand was back in charge and back to finishing the project. Much has been made in the early reviews of the Fountain Blue's mid-century modern design. The casino ceiling soar 42 feet with the architecture above the playing area. The design is best appreciated up on the second level. Lots of curvature, swoops, and drips that have been compared to the inside of a seashell. This is clearly meant to be the centerpiece of the whole casino floor, the massive chandelier at the blue bar. It's made of thousands of, what else? Crystal bow ties. The blue bar has comfy seating, classic cocktails, and your server can also be your concierge. It's pretty impressive from above as well. Fountain Blue has a 14,000 square foot race and sports book tucked behind the tavern. It's Sunday afternoon, the NFL is on, and the place is hopping. But we're looking for something a little quieter like this. Collins is the intimate and classy lobby bar named after Collins Avenue in Miami Beach, the address of the original Fountain Blue. What a gorgeous spot. Hello, friends. It is time for a break. Been walking this whole entire casino and capturing all the beautiful architectural details and the entrances and the lobby and all that. I need to go upstairs and take a look at all the food offerings up on the second floor, but it's time for a break. I am at the Collins Bar, which I think is the lobby bar. This is called the J.S. Collins. I think it's their signature drink. I'm thirsty and ready for a sit down. Bourbon, strawberries, tonic. Oh, that is refreshing. You're not kidding. Really, really good. Hits the spot. Thank you. <laughs> Here's what ails you. <laughs> Catching the escalator, we're off to the second floor to see what's open up here. The Fountain Blue has devoted 96,500 square feet to retail and expects to have 35 high-end shops when it's at full occupancy. At the end of a very long haul is the promenade. The resort is proud to present a total of 36 food and drink establishments new to the Las Vegas market, but featuring world-class chefs and international imports. The food hall overlooks the casino and offers several of those eateries open and ready to take your order. Just past the food hall is the Blue Live Theater, a 90,000 square foot venue with 3,800 seats that will be run by Live Nation. It will focus on touring acts and non-residencies. Even four days in, foodies have already discovered this import from Miami, poppy steak. Down another hall is the Fountain Blues Mecca for Wellness, the fitness center and spa. The IV drip thing may be a first for Las Vegas. Now this is worth a look. It's a stunning restaurant called La Fontaine, promising an iconic brunch experience in a dazzling atmosphere. Not sure about the brunch, but they've got the dazzling part right. Back down to the casino level, we're on the hunt for dinner. 
The signature steakhouse here is Don's Prime, promising steakhouse perfection, old school service, and a touch of glamour. And definitely at a glamorous price. Well, hello again. It is me. Let me check the time. It is 6.20 on Sunday evening. I've just been walking the second level of uh, Fountain Blue. All of the shops, most of which are not yet ready, and the promenade, which is definitely ready. And I, one thing I loved about being up there was the views of the casino from the second level. I loved all the balconies and the balustrades. Looking over, you could really see the uh, architecture architecture and all the swirls and lines uh, from up on the second level. I love that. So right now I am in a very noisy and busy Mother Wolf. It is on the casino floor and it is an Italian place specifically focusing on Roman and Rome. Uh, it is incredibly beautiful in here. The decor, the color scheme, everything about it. And uh, I just placed my order. I'm going to get an arugula salad, and then I'm going to get some rigatoni with oxtail ragu. Outrageously expensive, but what can you do? I'm at the Fountain Blue on opening weekend. I do have a lovely Pinot Grigio, and I'm going to enjoy that. Just sit here and relax and uh, have some dinner. Mother Wolf is an import from Los Angeles, the homage to Roman cuisine and culture from famed chef Evan Funky. He is a renowned steward of Italian cooking, and clearly the staff in the kitchen here is carrying out those traditions for the Fountain Blues guests. All right, this is insanity. No sooner did I stop talking to you than my salad was delivered. Now, this salad cost $18. I want you to take a look at the size of this salad. It is unbelievable. I think it has a lemon vinaigrette, some olive oil. It doesn't really seem to have anything on it but arugula. I get my greens for the day, won't I? Let me have a bite. <laughs> oh my goodness, you know, Life is full of new experiences, okay? How does one eat that, I wonder? Huh. I guess I'm gonna have to resort to a knife. Bear with me a moment while I cut this a little bit into a bite-sized piece. Enjoy. Thank you so much. <laughs> this whole thing makes me want to laugh. Well, it's arugula, it's fresh, it definitely has a lemon vinaigrette, that's about all I can say about it. Here we are. I tried to dig through some of that arugula, but I just decided to wait for the main event. Here's my rigatoni. This plate is very hot, I hope I can pick it up and show it to you, but look how beautiful this is with the oxtail ragu. I'm going to pick up a piece of rigatoni. I understand from my server that everything is made in house. So let's take a look at this beautiful stuff. Rigatoni is in the mouth they go. That has a very robust flavor deep beef flavor. I am a big, big fan. I didn't even get a piece of beef. Just talking about the sauce itself that it is coating the rigatoni. So here, Where's the beef? there's the beef. <laughs> Let me take a bite. Superbly tender. It's like it's been cooked for hours in the sauce. I remember I had something similar. It might have been at Sinatra years ago. This is excellent. Excellent rigatoni. Excellent beef. Wow, superb. Mm. Cost a dish, $38. This is going to be lovely, and I think I'm even going to have some take-home 
or lunch tomorrow when I go back home. This is delicious. Big, big thumbs up on this rigatoni. Our Sunday fun day at the new Fountain Blue is winding down, but not before we admire that spectacular strip view at night out our 20th floor window. Makes us think about maybe setting up a time lapse capturing the LED designs on the sphere. That promo on the marquee reminds us though, first things first, a nightcap at Collins needs to be next on the agenda. It's 9 p.m., same bar, different vibe at night, more jazzy, but the drinks are just as pretty. A Glenlivet with a big rock ice cube is just the thing to cap off a great day. Thank you everybody for hanging out with us today. Hope you enjoyed our first look at the Fountain Blue. Come and check it out.